Isa bought four apples from a shop near her home. However, her mother asked her to throw some away, since 0.75 of the apples turned out to be rotten. How many apples should Isa throw away? To solve Isa's problem, we can convert 0.75 into a rational number. Generally, the digits that appear before a decimal point are collectively referred to as the whole number, and the digits that come after the decimal point make up the decimal part. Here, 0 is the whole number, and the digits 7 and 5 make up the decimal part of the decimal. Recall that all rational numbers are fractions, so converting a decimal into a rational number is the same as converting it into a fraction. A decimal can be converted into a fraction in a few steps. First, take all the digits of the decimal as the numerator of the fraction. We can ignore zero if it's a whole number. So, only 7 and 5 are added above the line in the fraction. Next, add a denominator in a power of 10 that depends on the number of digits after the decimal point in the original decimal. Since there are two digits after the decimal point in 0 0.75, the denominator will be 100. Finally, reduce the rational number to its lowest form. 75 over 100 is equal to 3 over 4 in its lowest form. So, three of the four apples that Isa bought were rotten. Therefore, she should throw away three apples. Consider the decimal point, 1.05. To convert this into a fraction, we place the digits 1, 0, and 5 above the dividing line in the fraction. Since 0 is included in the decimal part, we keep it in the numerator. There are two digits after the decimal point, so we add 100 below the dividing line. Finally, we simplify 100 and 5 over 100 and get the rational number 21 over 20. Let us do a quick exercise. Convert the following decimals into rational numbers. 1.05 Now let us review. First, we write the digits 2 and 5 above the dividing line. Next, we add 100 as the denominator because there are two digits after the decimal point. Finally, we simplify 25 over 100 to 1 over 4. 102 is written as the numerator in the fraction. The denominator is 10 since there is only one digit after the decimal point. 102 over 10 can be simplified to 51 over 5. 0 0.699 is expressed as 699 over 1000 as a fraction. There are three zeros after one in the denominator because there are three digits after the decimal point in the original number. 699 over 1000 cannot be simplified any further. In summary, we can convert a decimal into a rational number as follows. First, we take all the digits of the decimal as the numerator. Next, we add a denominator in a power of 10 that depends on the number of digits after the decimal point. Finally, we reduce the rational number to its lowest form.